Uh, we're going to turn it to uh, the latest front in the fast food wars, McDonald's, responding to critics by offering more healthy options to its customers. ABC's Betty Lou spoke to the CEO of McDonald's, who says he went on a daily McDonald's diet and actually lost weight. Explain how that can be, Betty. Good morning. Can you believe that, Dan? Well, the next time you walk into McDonald's, you might hear, want a salad with that Big Mac? All part of the effort to make fast food healthier. To all these patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onion, donuts, sesame seeds, bun. Americans have been taking the Big Mac challenge since the 1970s, but it's their waistlines that critics say have been losing out. The great big sandwich with a great big taste. Not anymore, says McDonald's newest boss, Don Thompson. At the Clinton Global Initiative earlier this week, the big cheese at Mickey D's announced that in 20 of the restaurant chain's largest markets, customers will soon be able to choose veggies and fruit over those famous fries. Thompson, who's been CEO for about a year, knows a thing or two about losing weight. He says he shed 20 pounds eating at his restaurants every day. Some days I have a Southwest salad, some days a Big Mac. Uh, some days I'll have fries because can't, I can't give up fries. So I'll go extra on the treadmill, extra on the elliptical. It's calories in, calories out. You've got to watch what it is you're putting in. But moms and healthy food advocates say he's the exception, not the rule. Noting that for most everyone else, especially kids, a daily McDiet equals a supersized you. All the marketing toward children right now is having such a huge impact. It's, it's conditioning children to want soda, to want fries. But marketing creates expectations. Filmmaker Morgan Spurlock supersized his way to health issues in 30 days. But we ask, can you really supersize your way down to healthiness? Fast food can be part of a healthy diet, just not every day. You don't want to be eating it every single day. You need fiber, vitamins, minerals, a lot of things that a fast food diet may not provide. Tell that to Don, who's not bothered by the criticism. He says he's now giving you even more choices. He says if you keep exercising and making the right lifestyle changes, you can enjoy his food just like he does. Oh boy, well it's not just McDonald's feeling the heat, Burger King, Pepsi, Coke are all feeling that heat. And remember years ago, President Clinton helped get soft drinks, Dan and Bianca, out of schools. The question is, are, are customers going to buy this, right. apples, over those piping hot Fries. Right, I mean, that is the real question. Yeah. You yes. go into those places, you're not looking for apples right. usually. But, but, By the way, can I have those apples? <laughs> there you go. But, but your fries. Fries. That's right. But no matter how you feel about it, it is a smart marketing ploy on his part to actually yes. lose weight and participate as well. Well, and they have been this beacon for the attacks against obesity here right. in the United yeah. States. So By the way, next, he's in the hot seat. Next time, bring fries, please. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, for breakfast, Betty. for sure. Thanks, Betty. <laughs>